Good afternoon, everybody. Sarah, again. Uh, I decided to let my hair go all, like, super curly, all natural for today. I don't know, I'm just kind of getting sick of the whole straight thing. Anyway, that's so weird. <laughs> anyway, straight hair thing. Um, so I was just watching this thing, and it just reminded me of some stuff. The whole, um, this body positive, bleh, sorry, body positive movement. Um... So I struggle with body image, right? I think most of us do. Um, I started learning or trying to, I guess, a couple of years ago, really start working on it um, and just getting comfortable with it. Um, getting comfortable with myself, which I know is always really tough to do. I put up a couple of blog posts the other day, which were so friggin' negative, personally negative, and it just kind of triggered this whole thing. Um, so I was watching this video about this girl talking about the power of being able to say, I am fat. And not have, like, everybody around the world <laughs> just, like, you can watch them freak out. And I have a really good example of this. Um, I was getting in the elevator at University of Washington Hospital while Alex was sick. Uh, and we were going upstairs and the doors are getting ready to close. And this chick, like, speeds in next to me and, like, plows in and shoves the door and stands next to me. And I'm, I'm like, you know, fake sarcastic clapping, you know, good job. And she goes, she points down at her body and she goes, well, there was no way this was not getting through that door. And I went, <laughs> I looked down at myself and I put my, did the, you know, voila thing. And I went, yeah, I hear you. And she, she goes, she did that nervous laugh thing. Like, uh, uh, and I'm like, are you guys like thinking I don't own a mirror? Like I don't look at myself every now and again and go, yep, still fat and keep moving on. It, it's like, no, it's like, it's not self-deprecating humor at that point either. It's just being real. Um, I tell you that to tell you this. This has not always been the case. My confidence level has definitely gone through the roof since I was younger. But when I was younger, um, you know, when you're a teenager, you're a teenage girl and you don't look like everybody else. I was five foot eight by the time I was 12, 13 years old. Yay for steroids to help me with my lungs when I was young. Um... I was five foot eight. I was over 250 pounds already at 13 years old. I was playing football. I played soccer. I played basketball. Um, I was really good at basketball and soccer, actually. But um, I was very active. Um, I went and rode my bike every day. We walked every day. We did, you know, all this stuff. And no matter what you do, unfortunately, when you've got these other little underlying issues, um, not too much changes body-wise. And that's okay. I know that now when you're 12 and 13 years old and every other girl is blonde haired, blue eyed about the size of a pixie stick and, and um, is super cute. You know, it's uh, or the world's version of super cute. It's hard. Um, I remember at 15, you know, well, not probably not even that 13, 14 years old, 15 in my early teens. And then in my, my mid teens, I started realizing when I would go to anywhere out in public and I would see a woman who I thought looked like me. So, or would look like me in the future. Cause I assumed I was going to be bigger my whole life, which is, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 33 this summer. It's pretty much panned out. And that's, I wasn't wrong, but, um, so I realized at some point that I was checking the ring finger of every single fat woman I would come in contact with. Every single one. Just to remind myself or reassure myself that, oh, hey, look, somebody loves her. <laughs> I can do this. I can be this. You know, and um, it's funny because even at that age, I assumed that I was going to have to settle because of how I looked. Um, and then you add in the fact that I have an incredibly awkward personality. I mean, the, the thing is that, um, I know I'm really super charming and I can be, and I'm very sweet by nature and I'm not tooting my own horn here. I'm very self-aware of this. Like I have very positive qualities, but I am also the person who is going to say some random weird shit and sit there having an anxiety attack going, oh crap, too much. <laughs> you know? It's like, um, and the people around me who love me and and enjoy my presence and know this. It's like, I'm the one who was, somebody's going to go, oh my God, nobody would say that. And then Shannon will go, we're Sarah. <laughs> because I'm, I'm it's like, oh fuck, Sarah's going to be the one who says the thing that nobody wants to anybody to say right now. Um, that's me. And it's funny because time and time again in my life, it has proven that it's not actually a negative. It's actually quite the positive. Um, but my, my journey to acceptance for self was very tumultuous. And it's really funny because when Alex and I got together, um, 
I mean, my confidence level was nowhere. It was like zilch. It's like <laughs> complete and utter zilch. I was um, very surprised when he told me that he was interested in me in any sort of way whatsoever. It was it was actually really funny because I I sincerely thought he was joking. Um, there's still a part of my brain that assumes when somebody says that they're interested in me romantically that they're either joking or delusional, one of the two. Um, not as, nowhere near, like, when I was a kid, though. But, um, my confidence level rose pretty friggin' high pretty friggin' quick when Alex and I got together. And not because we were together, necessarily, but because I'd finally snagged one. Um, I make it sound like I've struggled with getting guys to like me my whole life, and it's actually quite the opposite. Um, I've had friends tell me that they're like, I'm like, yeah, I knew you liked me. And they're like, well, why didn't you say anything sooner? It's like, I would have gone for you in a heartbeat. And it's like, that's why I didn't say anything sooner. I'm not into you that way. Um, I have never had a hard time with guys banging down the door. For me, it's just that I'm picky. <laughs> uh, and it's funny because when I was younger, people would say things to me like, beggars can't be choosers. Um, you know, you're going to have to go for what you can get. Uh, and things like that. And it turns out that's complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> um, yes, I have the awkward personality, but I have also got the, you know, the, the rest of this package is worth something. And I know that now I know when I'm talking with people and they're like, oh, you know, we should go out or whatever. It's like, yeah, good luck, asshole. <laughs> um, I learned that one, I am not a beggar. Two, even if I was, I can still be a chooser. <laughs> That's totally fine. But um, getting to where I'm at in my life now, it's it's like I'm done. I'm just completely done with the bullshit. And it's like, for me, now it has more to do with the fact that I'm confident in where I'm at. I'm confident in who I am. Um, I will say that it's, it is still tough because after Alex died, I lost a part of my identity. Um, I lost a part of my, my confidence because it, for as much as I want to think that I was like up here with my confidence level, that's not always completely true. Um, and I was always consciously aware of the fact that Alex could have done better for me. Like that was my own personal fuck up -edness. Like I always constantly knew, thought that, um, he always told me I was nuts, but, um, you know, it, it really... I lost a bit of my confidence level when he died because it's like, great, now who's going to want me? <laughs> um, and I think it goes back to that societal we're taught to hate ourselves thing. <laughs> it's like, it's like I got one and I had one and, and I had the life I wanted and I was like head over heels and I knew it was the same thing on his side and I was like, we're good. And now it's like, well, crap. Because I am at that point now. It's like, I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. And if I'm really straight up honest with myself, I know that I'm I'm ready. Um, and, you know, it's okay. It, it's totally okay. And it's still the same basic principle applies. If I really like somebody, then I'm going to go for it. And I'm one of those people I try really hard, well, I shouldn't say that, I try really hard not to be one of those people who, like, beats around the bush with the whole thing. It's like, oh, okay, I, we're all adults here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, no, play childish games, I just don't have time for it anymore. Um, but I'm at that point now, I'm back to being, I think, a little bit more comfortable with where I'm at and with who I am, and if somebody doesn't like it, more power to them, and if somebody does like it, well, hey, awesome. <laughs> but, um... Uh, it's, it's, it's so stupid how we treat, um, labels in our society and how we treat ourselves with the association of that label. So for me, it's always going to come down, come, bleh, come down to, yes, I'm fat and yes, I'm fucking awesome. And it's not a caveat. I'm not fat, but I'm awesome. It's. I'm all of these things wrapped up into one. And if somebody doesn't like it, they can fuck off. I really don't have the time or the energy for it anymore. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with these little anxiety things. It's like, if somebody is seriously interested in me, then, okay, cool, awesome. Let's see how that rolls. I'm not going to beat myself over the head about it anymore. Um, because I... 
recognize my worth and I recognize my potential. And that is exactly where I'm going to stay from now on. I say that like it's an easy thing, but I know it's not. But um, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at today. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's one of those weird things that pops up every now and again. I remember those stupid little things I did when I was a kid. And it's like, you know what? Fuck this. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. But enjoy the video. And hopefully I'll be back with other stuff later. So bye.